Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be showing you how to install LuckPerms on your server. To get started, we've gone to the LuckPerms spigot page and we'll click Download Now. We're just going to save this file to our desktop for easy access. Now that the file has been downloaded, we'll go ahead and pull up the FTP details for our server. You can do this by going to FTP file access in the panel and copying the details here and putting them into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. We've gone ahead and connected to our server using FileZilla and we're going to take the plugin that we just downloaded and drag and drop this into the plugins folder. Now that we've uploaded the plugin, we'll go ahead and restart our server. So let's go back to the main server page and then uh, click start actually because it wasn't initially started. While the server's starting, we're also going to create a MySQL database in order to use MySQL with LuckPerms. We're going to do this by clicking the MySQL database tab, and from here we'll click Add Database and name the database LuckPerms. Once we have that entered in, we'll go ahead and click Add, and this will generate the MySQL database details. As you can see, we have the host, the database name, the username, and the password, as well as the port. We've gone ahead and went back to console, and as you can see, the server is now marked as done. So we'll minimize this for now, and then bring up FileZilla once more to click the plugins folder. As you can see, LuckPerms has generated a folder named itself, and we'll double click that to find the config.yml. We'll go ahead and click view and edit, and this is going to pull it up in your default text editor. In my case, this is Notepad++. And we're going to scroll down towards the uh, bottom where it says storage method. So this is actually the first thing we're going to change. So the storage method will be uh, changed to MySQL. And once that's been changed, we're going to scroll down to the address. So the address is going to be what was previously in the server's MySQL details. So let's go back to the panel and we'll pull up those details to find the, and because this is minimized actually, let's just uh, fully maximize that tab and we're going to copy the database host and we'll minimize this once more to then replace localhost with the database host. Let's bring up the details again and this time we're going to copy the database name and replace that with the database name here. So now that we have the database name we'll go ahead and copy the database username and once we have this copied we'll go ahead and paste that for the username credential in the configuration file. And once more, we'll pull up the details to then copy the database password. And we'll go ahead and enter in the password in the password field there. Now that this has all been changed, we'll go ahead and save this configuration. We'll X out of this, and now we need to restart the server for the changes to take effect. So I'm restarting the server from console to determine if there's any sort of errors with our configuration. As you can see, it's currently loading LuckPerms. It appears that it loaded it successfully. I, I didn't see any errors um, whenever it did output that message. Now that LuckPerms has been installed and configured to use MySQL, we're actually going to log into the server via game and uh, continue to kind of configure it to our liking. So we'll be creating a few different groups as well as adding a few permission nodes to those groups. So we've gone ahead and joined our server and if we do slash LP, um, which stands for LuckPerms, we're actually given a message. And that's because we need to first give ourselves the permission in order to make changes to uh, LuckPerms within console. So let's go ahead and run this command really quick. And basically all this is saying is the user, um, which is my username, will be given all uh, LuckPerms permissions. So we've went ahead and pulled up the console of the server and we'll type LP user and then my username, um, which obviously you're going to replace this with your own uh, permission set luck perms um, and we'll add a period and a star as it said in game and we'll set this to true so as you can see now we are given all of the permissions um, of luck perms to this user so now back in game if we run the lp command uh, which previously gave us the error uh, we'll now run lp help and it will bring up all of the uh, commands that we can use for luck perms so the first thing we're going to do is actually create a admin group. And this is totally optional. However, I do recommend it if you want a certain group to have some sort of elevated permissions over your normal users. Uh, and you can also create other groups such as, you know, moderators, helpers, or really whatever you want. So we'll do slash LP create group admin. And as you can see, admin was successfully created. So from here, we'll now add ourselves to that admin group. So we'll do LP user and then our username and we'll say parent add admin. 
And now my user uh, will inherit all of the permissions from the admin group. So we've added ourselves to the admin group. However, if we run a command such as slash TPS, for example, we're going to be given the error that we don't have permission to do this. That's because we haven't given the admin group the ability to run that specific command. So we can do this by adding the permission node. Now every command will have a permission node from really any plugin. This also includes the default commands that come with Spigot. So in order to give that group the ability to run this command, we'll type LP group admin, which is the name of the group, permission set, and then the permission node. So once again, all commands will have a permission node for the most part. And we'll then type uh, bucket command dot TPS. So that's basically the uh, permission node for uh, running the TPS command. So we'll go ahead and hit enter on that. And now it's said that we have been given this specific permission node for that admin group. So if we do slash TPS, as you can see, we're able to use that command. We've set up the admin group. However, if we were to type in chat a simple message, as you can see, the name that we currently have is fairly standard. And this is what the default group is going to look like whenever they join your server. In most cases, you're going to want to kind of stand out as an admin. In order to do this, we can simply set a prefix for the admin group. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to set up some sort of chat manager. I've gone ahead and set up Essentials X. However, there's a few different ones out there. Um, essentially, you'll need one that has the ability to create prefixes for certain users. In order to add the prefix to the admin group, we'll do slash LP uh, group admin meta add prefix and then the prefix weight. The prefix weight basically decides which prefix is chosen if a user is in multiple groups. If it's a higher group, I'd recommend putting a higher number. So for the admin group, we're simply just going to put 100. After 100, we're then going to need to enter in the prefix that we want. So you can really format this numerous ways. However, uh, we'll do some sort of kind of nice formatting in order for it to stand out. So uh, for this prefix, I'm going to do a bracket in the color white. And keep in mind, I'm using color codes here. Uh, so that is a feature of the um, chat manager that I've added in, it supports color codes. So I'll do the and F for the white bracket, and then we will choose um, blue for the um, admin, and then we'll do another and F bracket. So we'll hit enter on this, and as you can see, it has now set the prefix uh, right here for this admin group. So if we say hi in chat, you'll see the admin is placed before our username. Now, keep in mind the formatting is a little off uh, because we've yet to actually configure the chat manager plugin that we've added in. However, once we do configure that, uh, we'll be able to add in a space between the admin and then the username. So we've set up the admin group. However, we've yet to actually set up the default user group. The default user group is something that LuckPerms adds into your server whenever you install the plugin. You can see that group by doing LP group default. Um, so we could list the members of this group and we'll see that we're actually in that default group. And that's because the admin group is above the default group. So we're automatically given all permissions under the admin group. We can add a permission to the default group the exact same way we did with the admin group. So if we were to do LP group default uh, permission set and then the permission node. So uh, in this case, I have Essentials installed, so we'll go ahead and uh, type in Essentials dot, and 1.15 actually automatically pulls up all of the permission nodes for us, um, but we'll be adding in the rules permission nodes. So we'll set that to true, and once we hit enter on this, as you can see, this updates the default group with the ability to run the rules command. So if we were to do slash rules, keep in mind we're an admin, so we're given that uh, access because we're in the default group as well. We're able to see the rules that are kind of defaultly given to Essentials X. There's a lot more commands in LuckPerms that we have not covered in this video. However, in the description of the video, we will link their wiki, and that covers basically all of their commands, including even the web editor that will help you manage groups and permissions. With that being said, that's gonna wrap up this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblehost Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.